According to the 2021 data on gender representation in photojournalism, it is reported that despite a complete reversal of the gender profile of photography, students in the last 25 to 30 years in the proportion of women in the industry has not changed in that time. An estimation of 70 to 80% of recent photography graduates are female. Today, women still make up only 15% of professional photographers. In addition to the statistics, we attended the first Dip in Photo Fair, which was founded and hosted by Lungilum Gomezulu, which served as a connecting tool for young aspiring photographers, and it was hosted within the city of Durban. Industry, Nabasa Fisa, Ungena, we industry, photography, Nawi film. So, Gale and Dole as a platform, Yok Niggers, Abanabanti Tuba, Mina, Angbang and Tuba, El Colo, Lok Combesa, Italian Delami, or Lok Combesa, Utando Lami, a photography. So, Loko and Fisu to Wednesday, Wabanaband. So, I started a photo fair because Gifuna, Abanaband Bebene, Tuba, El Gale, Lok. Industry, yeah, photography, or yeah, film. These are some of the seasoned photographers in Durban and around KZN that were present at the event. Because in as much as they are really good and they at the stage. So So it, it, it depends because this requires a lot of hard work and dealing mm. with banning. We are going down sometimes. Is it dangerous? Not in general. But we must just fasten. Sometimes our words get shown on figure the legs on. So go and judge. But you can always, as we must just fasten, specialize quickly, and then be so dealing and share with my client. So I think they can also control our risking in general because there are a lot of risks that are involved in the, the industry. Like a lot of uh, women photographers at TUC will like it. I can say like uh, 60% of the male photographers, then 40% of women photographers. Like when you look at the, the, the women photographers that we, we have or we had, like they are they are most creative people that you ever seen in this world. Like a strong photograph that is taken by the woman, I can say... When you are a women photograph, you always do better than the men. Um, I firstly want to say there are lots of talented um, female photographers in Durban. Some legends like Zanila um, Moholi, and then you know there's the um, um, Melissa. I think it's Melissa Butelezi. There's it's lots of talent, um, but. In comparison to men in the industry in Durban, it's really a male-dominated space. Um, and it's not easy for women to break through in this industry. It's, it's, it's a boys' club. Yeah. And we're hoping that um, through a platform like the Durban Photo Fair, in, in addition to long-term dreams of mentoring uh, emerging talent, we also want to encourage um, female photographers to come to the space, um, whether we're having a physical exhibition or engaging online, and start talking to more and more and, and, and bringing their visibility um, in, in the space. And then it also, by doing that, they'll also encourage young women to take the step forward and really want to build a career in photography. So that's, that's the plan. It is hard um, to find female photographers. Um, they're there. It's just that um, they're not as uh, visible uh, as the male photographers. Yeah. <laughs> If you saw this, you should want to be a born with a second right to Anjan, who saw right to Anjan is Tom, my founder, my Yigi, who went to research, my Boga, who would see Abani Benton, like get some inspiration from other photographers, learn from other photographers, banning a band of Benton's in this class for me, and Mao Mondu, I think, finally, even a Mako Pamani or a Mako who was doing something, and she has a good if. I'm a 